Hi, my name is Joseph Wu from Stanford University. I'm the BCBS Council Chair. We're here in San Antonio, Texas for the 2018 BCBS Cardiovascular Science Symposium. Next to me is Dr. Stephanie Demler, who just gave a fantastic keynote lecture. Uh, I have a few questions for Dr. Demler. Uh, Dr. Demler, can you give us an overview of the research uh, that's happening in your lab? So my lab is uh, focusing on mainly two aspects, one of which is non-coding RNAs, namely the function of microRNAs. These are small non-coding RNAs, as well as uh, several long non-coding RNAs, can be circular RNAs or other long RNAs which are expressed and do not code for proteins and their role in vascular repair and cardiac repair. And the second is that we recently established more single cell sequencing tools to uh, breaking down the tissue and hopefully also human tissue into digital units and identify more the heterogeneity of cells in particularly under heart failure conditions. Thank you. And Dr. Demler, for your keynote lecture, uh, you gave two wonderful examples on cellular heterogeneity for endothelial cells and also on clonal hematopoiesis. Can you give the audience here some take home points uh, from your keynote lecture? Sure. Um, the first part was addressing the mechanism how endothelial cells contribute to the formation of new blood vessels after ischemia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we found out by using a genetic tracing system that endothelial cells, at least in the heart after ischemia, can clonally expand and form new blood vessels by this means. They are also partially undergoing a transient change in re-expressing mesenchymal genes, which we believe helps them to get activated and migrate into the tissue and uh, contribute to the formation of the new vessels. And in the second part, uh, we were uh, investigating the role of the heterogeneity of inflammatory cells in heart failure patients. So we took circulating blood monocytes and addressed their signature, the transcriptome. And we found that in patients with heart failure, there's a huge heterogeneity. So each patient has its own signature of clusters of cells. And um, to some extent, maybe clonal hematopoiesis contributes to this finding. Clonal hematopoiesis refers to the mutation of hematidic stem cells. And we showed that this is a very high incidence in patients with heart failure. Uh, and these driver genes like DNMT3A and TET2, which are epigenetic modifiers, control a lot of inflammatory reactions and maybe contribute uh, to these inflammatory changes in the heart failure patients and their prognosis also. Mm -hmm. so, so those are two very exciting findings. Um, now, obviously, you've made the similar contributions to cardiovascular science over the past two decades. Can you give the audience a sense of what are some key questions that you want to address uh, for the next five years and how that relates and will benefit uh, cardiovascular health for our patients? So certainly we have um, one aspect is of course that we want to promote the therapeutic aspects by you targeting microRNAs. We really want to bring this into the clinic. This is one of the most important current vision. And the second one is I think the single cell sequencing technology will allow us a lot of insights uh, in looking more closely into patients and disease states. So thank you very much, Dr. Demler. We're very grateful for your fantastic presentation, and I wish you the best uh, in 2018. And thank you very much for the audience uh, here, and I hope you can join us for the BCBA sessions in 2019 in Boston.